hello and welcome back guys all right so in here what we want to do is uh let's fix a few things here before we can read from the actual database so to start with i want to reduce these images so let's go to our folder and this is the index.php that contains the styles for these items right here so let me get to the index.php and load it in my sublime text and I, let me just change the color settings for a bit here i think i prefer this one all right so what i'm looking for uh, right here is the contact image i want to reduce the image sizes here they're too big because when you have a lot of contacts you're not going to have a lot of space for those guys so let me put uh, 100 pixel for the width and then i'm going to also put 100 pixel for the height like so so that it's a fixed amount and i'm going to put the width of the contact uh, div as well at 100 and 120 just to make sure that uh, there's enough uh, extra pixels here to display uh, the name of the user and then also we have overflow hidden which we will not be needing anymore because now we are giving absolute values to our image so I'm just going to remove that and hit save so let me try again to load these images now oh it's the index.php so I have to refresh that okay there we go so this image is uh, kind of stretched now but um, we could uh, crop them using php to make them square images but i've done plenty of tutorials on how to crop images and so you can simply create a class to do that and where you'd have to put that class is inside the includes if you go to the contacts because this is the file that actually loads the contact so you can put your function here that crops the images just before you display them as we were doing in our other tutorial for creating a social website but in the interest of keeping these tutorials short i'm not going to be showing that cropping process in here all right so now that we have that out of the way one thing uh, somebody mentioned in the comments in my previous uh, video is that i actually forgot about the gender part of this thing so if i log out here yes i want to log out and then i go to uh, sign up there is this section for gender right here but uh, apparently i completely forgot about it because even in the database i don't have a column for gender so quite the mistake there so what we're going to do is let's go to the structure of our database and then let's add one more column now the advantage here is we can choose where we want to add the column so which really doesn't matter in the scope of things but just in case you want to do that uh, it can be done so maybe after the email we can do that and just go and say after email add one column so let's add that column and that column is going to be gender okay so what i want to know is what value i actually put for gender here if any so i'm going to inspect this element right here so the name is password and type okay so this is usually uh right so there's no value there yet so we can uh, give our, our values as needed so it can either be male or female so let's use variable character for uh, for that and how long should uh, the character be now the longest uh, item we're going to be saving in here is female so let me just type female here and count how many characters are there so that's one two three four five six so the length of this column is going to be six so that we don't waste any space and i'm going to hit save now it is possible that we may want to search for all the male um all the male contacts in our contact list so we might want to put gender uh on the index list right there so let's add an index there to gender and that's it now the problem is we added all these um accounts without this gender part so i'm going to delete everything in here so that i start again 
that way I'll make sure that the gender part is actually working now to delete everything in here I'm going to go to uh, what's this uh, why is everything zoomed in oh I zoomed it in here so it's in operations and let's go down here where it says uh, truncate that's empty the table right okay so we've truncated the reason I just didn't delete everything is because if you simply delete then the the primary uh, key will not reset to zero the keys will start at a later number and truncating just zeros that out as well all right so we are done on this part now we want to just make sure that this part is working so let's go back to our files here and let's look for the part that actually um, does the sign up so this is the sign up right here sign up.php so let's load that file and inspect it okay so here we have everything checking to see if uh, email is not empty the username is not empty and we also have the password okay the only part we don't have is where we are checking for the gender now instead of checking if agenda is empty uh, where is this data username object data okay so we have to go back here and make sure that in our index.php we are actually grabbing the agenda part as well so that's email and so this is uh, what index.php okay so this is not it we have to go to the signup.php so let me come back here signup.php goody goody all right so there we go so we have gender and these uh radio buttons right here so they do have a value there's one male and there's one a value of female after all okay so now those values here now the way this works is that if this uh, input is not checked it's just not going to uh, exist when you hit post but because here we are using JavaScript we can pretty much give it a value that we want so the ID of these things let me give these both of these an ID so I'm going to say ID this is just so we can grab it with uh, JavaScript okay so I'm going to say ID this one is going to be um, what do I put here gender male something like that and since this is male this one is female oh there we go that should be enough gender male gender female so we can easily grab these guys directly okay so let's come here where we say collect data and I'm going to go down here so we are collecting everything and we are actually uh, collecting that too okay how are we collecting that uh, name gender okay all right so since uh, in our uh, at this part here we are using the key dot name that's what we are looking for the name of an item so we didn't actually need to create IDs so my bad I'm going to undo that but on the name this is where I'm going to add male and I'm going to add female on this one like so okay male female so now let's go down here to make sure that uh, we have things correctly so when the case is gender now we have changed because gender will not be active so we're going to say gender male okay if case is equal to gender male now this is only one case here what we're going to do is duplicate this part like this because remember one thing when it's checking for a case let's say the case is user ID, username in this case so we come to username when we get here we have this break which exits the switch command so that only one of these cases can run however 
if we don't add this break right here it means it will go and actually run the second one as well so we're going to do exactly that here because we need it so case gender male it's going to come down here and run this part and say case gender female so when either of these is correct this part is going to run so gender male gender female like that that's how you do it all right so this will run for both now if it's a uh, gender male or gender female right so the thing is what we're interested in is the value we're not really interested in the key because we already know that it the key will either be gender male or gender female which we are more interested in the value so either way we're going to set this to da uh, data dot gender we're just going to generalize it as gender so whatever either it's on this one or on this one we're just going to set it to that okay so hopefully that made some sense of some kind okay so for signup.php we are done now let's go to where we're actually processing the information this is the signup.php that is in includes okay the includes folder all right so when we get here what we need to do is go to uh right here okay so if empty all right one mistake we i actually made is let me go back here uh, if input one the checked so gender male checked gender or female checked okay so if none of these are checked actually uh, sorry wait a minute so it means if none of these are actually checked this is not going to be handed over so which means we can use exactly the same validation we, we've been using here for for example for email here so i'm just going to duplicate this part here that's Control shift d like so all right so let me change everything that uh, goes that says email here to gender so let's say gender something like this oops all right so data gender is equal to that and we're going to say if empty please enter a valid gender so instead of this we're just going to say please select a gender okay which we're going to copy to here as well all righty then now we don't need to preg much this um as we did here so what we want to say is if empty mm -hmm, please enter valid gender else we ignore it so we're just going to remove all this i guess we don't need it now the reason we don't need to preg much is obviously because we actually uh, the values here are hard coded like that but we could check if they are either male or female so actually let's actually do that because somebody could add some malicious uh, data in there so let me undo that sorry about it so i'm going to say if let me remove this part i'm going to say if data gender up to here is not equal to male let me use the capital and then let's put another and here duplicate that and say and so if it's not male and it's not female it must be one of these okay if it's not male and it's not female then please select a gender select a valid gender in this case we can say that okay so otherwise we are good to go and let me go down now to the query itself because we have to include gender in the query now so right about uh, anyway we can put it anywhere here it doesn't really matter but let's put it between uh, username so let's just say oh sorry gender 
just to confirm that this is actually the column name okay pretty good that's the column name so gender right there and we're going to do the same thing here when we come to after username and i'm going to duplicate that and convert that to gender like this okie doke your profile was created your profile was not created all right this should work so let's give it a spin so let, let me add my original name here and let's add a email let's say mail and let's add a password here and let's add password as password oops password why do i keep getting confused password like that okay let's sign up and it seems everything went well so let's check here to make sure and there we go we have our agenda so let me come back here and sign up again as somebody else mary and this time we're using mary at yahoo.com now i'm intentionally going to leave uh, the gender alone so i can see an actual error loading please wait so i don't actually get an error message there which isn't very cool so let's see if something was delivered here and definitely not so let's inspect and see what actually is going on here why are we having a problem here so syntax error json parse unexpected character so what this actually means is that we got an error on the other side and it's messing up our json so let me come back here and let's see what could it be hmm. okay that's probably because when the uh let's see if error is equal to empty okay so definitely we haven't reached this point so what i would like to do is come up here that agenda is equal to that so i think right about here we have a problem because like i said if none of these are selected then the this will not actually exist hmm so we might not even want to change to check if it's empty so we must first check if it actually exists hmm. so like we can do that in one line of code okay so we're going to use that if statement that is uh what do you call it call it uh, i forget what it's called but we're going to say data gender is equal to so we're going to question if this is set right so we're going to say is set like so put it in parentheses just so we can know what's actually going on and then we're going to put a question mark here like this so if this is set so then we're going to paste this one here put a foo colon like so and then we're going to say Mm, no just so it's empty uh let me view word wrap remove that okay great so this is the mm, the whole thing we've done here so let me explain this uh this is an if statement actually so what what this is saying is that if this is set okay if this is set then use the value here set this because we are assigning this at the same time we're going to say this will be equal to that however if this is not set if this is false we're going to assign this to that that's all this is doing so this is a quick way to write an if else statement you write your condition here and then you put your question mark and then if the condition is correct then whatever is here is going to happen if it is wrong whatever is after the full colon is going to happen and of course you don't forget your semicolon there so this doesn't have to be equated to a variable it could be something like echo something like this echo if this is set i'm going to echo that if it's not set i'm going to echo the null object okay 
So just a quick note there. So I think this should sort out the problem, but you never know. So let's try again. Let me refresh the page and let me add the password again. Password. Let's hit sign up. Okay, so please select a gender. Passwords do not match. Hmm. Pretty good. So everything is working fine now. So password and let's select a female and sign up. Great. So let's go to our database and confirm. Very nice. Okay, great. So let's add one more guy here. Let's go to the sign up and let's add John. And let's add an email here, John at yahoo.com. And this is a mail, of course, and password and password. And let's sign up. Great. All right, so three names as we had started, but now we have at least some kind of agenda, which is awesome. All right, now I can easily uh, log in with my email and my password, and we are good to go. And I can see my contacts again. All right, so in the next video, let's look at how we can read actual contacts from the database now that we've sorted that gender thing out. All right, I'll see you in the next video.